Why do Ethiopians eat raw meat? Have you seen some Ethiopians devouring raw meat? Eating raw meat is not frowned upon in Ethiopia. Eating raw meat has become deep-rooted tradition and considered one of the important and relatively luxurious dishes. I asked some people why they eat raw meat. Their reply was why not? It is so normal that they were surprised by my question. But they know the risk of getting some parasites. I also asked them as to when raw meat eating was started in Ethiopia. The answers were, it has been like that forever. But my search and research went on. And I came across one generally agreed upon reply. The story goes that eating raw meat started during times of war. Fighters hiding in the mountains would have exposed themselves by making fire, and so they ate their meat raw. That is very sensible and logical. Do not you think so? I tried to find an answer to the question which war. Unfortunately, I could not find any document that gives me the answer to which war it was. Do you by any chance know the answer? Please leave us comment. Nowadays, there are many Ethiopians who eat raw meat. Despite health professionals' warnings that eating uncooked meat can have serious health implications due to the high risk of contracting tapeworms, salmonella, parasites and harmful bacteria, the tradition of eating raw meat persists. Still large amount of raw meat is eaten at weddings, festivals, and or. The end of one of the many fasting periods for the large Orthodox community, and during other special occasions or during ordinary days. The side dishes for the raw meat usually known as curd include aways, medanita, which is spicy chili powder, injera, or bread, some slices of lime. Other popular form of eating the raw beef is in the form of kitfo. Kitfo is minced raw beef marinated in mitmata, a chili powder-based spice blend, and niter kibba, a clarified butter infused with herbs and spices. Ethiopian kitfo can either be ordered completely raw or slightly cooked, called lib lib. Kitfo is often served with a mild cheese called ayib and cooked greens usually Ethiopian cabbage known as goman. In many parts of Ethiopia, kitfo is served with injera, bread, kocho a thick flatbread made from the inseed plant, also called false banana. What do you think about this tradition of eating raw meat? Have you ever tried any of the raw meat either beef or lamb? Let us know by leaving comments. Thanks. Do you know why Ethiopia is also referred to as a paradise for vegetarians and vegans? The Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church prescribes a number of fasting periods, and the faithful do not consume any kind of animal products, including dairy products and eggs. Therefore, Ethiopian cuisine contains many dishes that are vegan. Fasting is mainly takes place as abstaining from all animal products during fasts rather than abstaining from eating except the few cases like the 16 days in August. 
Hence, Ethiopian cuisine characteristically consists of vegetables, and often very spicy dishes. This is usually in the form of shiro and lentil, and or split peas and or split chickpeas stews served along with a variety of vegetables atop injera which is a large sourdough flatbread and usually made out of fermented teff flour. Ethiopians eat most of the time with their right hands, using pieces of injera to pick up bites of entrees and side dishes. There are people who refer Ethiopia as vegetarian's paradise because of the availability of variety of vegetarian foods especially during the fasting season. Thanks for watching. Please share your experiences about Ethiopian food with us by leaving comments. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, Make sure to push the like button and subscribe to our channel, if you have not done so already. Also don't forget to activate the notification bell.